Welcome to Georgia. Georgia is a country that is situated at the crossroads of Europe and Asia. The territory of our country is approximately 70,000 square kilometers, where around 4 million people live. Georgia is the homeland of the earliest hominins outside Africa. Traces of early agricultural societies, as well as the world's most ancient roots of wine culture, are found here. And our Georgian scripts are among the oldest writings of the world. Since the 4th century, Tbilisi is the capital of Georgia, owning unique and multicultural heritage. And here, most institutions of the Georgian Nation Museum are located. Welcome to Georgia. The Georgian National Museum is the largest scientific and cultural institution of our country that was established in 2004 by the unification of five museums. Today the organization consists of 11 museums and five scientific institutes. Dieses Haus hier ist das älteste und größte unserer Museen, gegründet während der Besatzung im Russischen Reich Mitte des 19. Jahrhunderts als Hauptmuseum über das gesamte Kaukasusregion. Seit dieser Zeit werden Objekte aus unserem reichen und vielfältigen Sammlungen in Ausstellungen für die Wissensvermittlung genutzt. In the treasury of the National Museum are collected biodiversity of Caucasus nature, history of ancient agriculture, metal production, ancient tradition of gold extraction, medieval art, traditional clothing, the difficult Soviet past of the 20th century. Von besonderer Bedeutung für Georgien und unsere Haus sind die faszinierenden Entdeckungen, die seit 1991 in Dmanisi unter Leitung von David Lord Kipanidze gemacht werden. The Georgian National Museum is developing, and not just in Tbilisi. It's very important to have a different high-level places inside of Georgia, and Dmanisi is one of them. We have now site museum, but I hope we will have bigger museum very soon. This is a place where we have a dialogue with public and for National Museum it's very important to connect people. But also it's important that we should be connected and we are part now big international network and our main partner was always Germany, is and I hope we will continue our very close cooperation in different fields and particularly to telling people history of human evolution. This is the Manisi, the dwelling place of the first European people located 85 kilometers from Tbilisi, the capital of Georgia. In 2000, here we found this jaw. It was just here and it was very enigmatic and we had many questions and we tried to figure out whom belongs this jaw. And five years after, we found this famous Carl V. And one day we realized that this jaw belongs to this skull. And now we have most complete cranium ever found in the world. So this skull has everything. Mandible, all face, all parts of the skull are well preserved. This is 1.8 million Homo erectus finds and it has a very small brain capacity. 
And here in this place, we found another two skulls and two jaws and different postcranial bones. I would say that this is one of the most prolific places where you could learn about human evolution, about environment, about stone tools. All the important exhibits found here are sent to the laboratory. Geology and paleontology is found in the laboratory. It is about the manisis archaeology of the Monaporebis restoration and conservation. The collection is organized by Matushek Niliatsipruli Monatsemta Bazebida. It is about the collection of the multidisciplinary summits near Oklobi, Rogurts Cartoli, as well as the Utsoli Metsnerebis Mir. After long research and processing, the findings are gathered in the exhibition hall. On this exhibition, we wanted to show not only the Stone Age era of this region, but its place in whole human evolution. For this purpose, in the middle of this exhibition, we placed different paleoanthropological materials found in different parts of the world telling the story of last million years of human evolution. We start with seven million old cranium of Sahelanthropus chadensis. Among them, there is also 2.4 million old mandible of Homo Fences from Malawi, and of course the skull of Homo erectus from Manisi and so on up to the Homo sapiens. We distributed these skulls only by chronological order to let visitors go through the objects and discover the different features of the skulls on their own, making them understand how evolution works in general. Due to the geographical location, the South Caucasus has been a crossroads of culture since the earliest period. This exhibition presents the discoveries of biological and cultural evolution of the Stone Age people in Georgia. Human biological and cultural evolution are closely linked to the technological innovations. The Dmanisi Early Stone Age site is part of that big story. Before the Dmanisi findings, there was an assumption that the first out of Africa migrants should have been already equipped with the developed stone tools like hand exits or cleavers, but in reality, they could well survive armed just with the most simple stone tools belonging to core and flake industry. Based on previously existed paleoanthropological record, they have to been quite tall and big-brained, but the Dmanisi Homo erectus contradicted these ideas also. We work in Africa on the origin of the genus Homo um, about 2.5 million years ago, and these early humans left Africa for the first time 2 million years ago and expanded into the Caucasus, and that's why our cooperation uh, with uh, Georgia is so important because here, with these fantastic fossils from Dimanisi, we can really um, work out why these people left Africa due to environmental changes and because they started to um, develop um, bioculturally to a new level. Scientists believe that the discoveries in Dmanisi are only the beginning. Generally, in Dmanisi, we already have very big collection of earliest humans out of Africa. We have five skulls, we have many postcranial elements, we have many extinct animals' bones like ostriches, rhinos, elephants, saber-toothed cats, and thousands of stone tools. But many things, I hope, will come back. The research at the place of residence of the first Europeans is ongoing. Researchers promise to surprise us with the new discoveries of Dmanisi. <laughs>